welcome to uh, another episode of uh, JD and the Sub C, uh, Ash Waste Build 2. So, in this one, um, we're going to be putting together different pieces of scatter terrain. Um, I'm going to be kind of talking a little bit about you know the essence of a board, um, you know what I'm looking for, um, and when I run into problems, when I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, anyways, uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so, you know, the idea here was uh, I wanted to make a pumping station. and Here we have a pump. Um, got a couple pipe kits here. Got that all built up. And at this point, I'm kind of still iffy about how all this is going to work. You know, I wanted some up terrain, but I wanted to try to keep it in the uh, the area where the sump's going to be. You know, this is going to be scattered terrain, so it's it's not going to be, uh, you know, glued down. So um, the idea behind this course is you drive up the ramp and you can, you know, fuel. That's the idea. Um, so I got this nice nice piece of terrain here and I got the pipes up and she's up pretty tall um, you know and then at that point I just try to go over all the stuff that's gonna be necessary you know gluing her up tight and uh, you know usually by this time I get another another idea about which way I want to go forward with this um, yeah didn't quite work out this way yeah we're playing with a pipe here and the pipe here, now we're going on the tile. Yeah. So, um, yeah, anyways, a um, couple of things thinking about, uh, you know, um, how's this board going to play? Um, you know, this piece I'm working on. Uh, How's it gonna drop, you know, when people are helping and you know, and all your stuff gets smashed all over the floor. Um, you know, a lot of the reinforcement I do on my gluing jobs and stuff like that, you know, um, it, it happens. I don't have any hard feelings about it. Um, I kind of treat my terrain like something that's ever changing anyways. Um, but, uh, you know, the question is, did I wanna make this you know, and the other thing is, it wasn't very playable at this point. Um, you know, it's just a piece of thing. I could have done that with foam or any of the other stuff that, you know, materials that I have lying around here. Um, so, yeah, a um, lot of things going through your head. Things to remember, too. You know, how's this going to pack up? Um, how's, you know, it going to be, you know, just used? Um a little different than the art approach. This is more of the hobbyist approach. Um, and uh, I think I came up with a pretty good answer here. Um, all right, back to the video. Okay, so what did I come up with? Um, yeah, we're, you know, at this point, I was struggling a little bit coming up with whatever I wanted to do. So figured, well, we got a pump, so we got to put them you know, put whatever we're pumping into something. So, you know, I got quite a few of these Promethium tanks. Um, figure I'd just mock one up here and uh, just play with it for a little bit. Um, you know, it, I have a lot of stuff. Uh, one of the reasons I have a lot of stuff is when I get stumped. Um, too many projects when I was younger, uh, you know, they, they stopped. You know, because you get stumped, you weren't thinking about things or taking pieces of plastic way too seriously. I mean, you can, you know, if you can't get that exact one again, you can always get more. And, you know, just playing around here and then, oh, hey, look at that. That's right. The top works. Um, now I can keep the two tanks together. And if you take a good gander on the left there, that's a pretty big area underneath that pump. Uh, so figured I would get some tanks and I can make them a little taller this time. 
Um, we're up there, actually. So they fit just nice under there. Um, reinforced by the bottom uh, uh, supposed top walkway. So at that point, I didn't realize it at the time until I got all that done. But now there's, you know, we've done this. We got an answer for this. And I still can't put bottles on this thing. Um, you know, a pretty important part of making a board is, uh, you know, being able playability. Um, and, uh, so I, I found these guys, um, little couple of container things and, uh, oh, wow, look at that. That looks like it fits pretty good with just a little bit of, little bit of chopping. Not too bad. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, uh, the tanks go right to the uh, the standard overflow. This is on the uh, on either side there. That's the same build as what you would do for a normal promethium tank. Uh, these guys getting the details up, a little bit of necromoneying, and uh, now we have, you know, a pumping station where vehicles can drive up on both sides, and you don't have to crash into anything too badly. So, yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to stop with uh, that particular tile. Um, nice thing about that little sump pump thing that I made there, uh, that can be used on the inside as well. Um, the little container thing I'm pretty proud of. Uh, yeah, I had those lying around from uh, a garage that I made for this same board on the other side. Um, yeah, so anyways, uh, moving on, uh, there was one more piece of uh, kind of converted scatter terrain that I wanted to add to this board, um, something with a mountainous feel to it and using some of the new Ashway stuff. Um, this ends up being kind of a interesting way this all laid out. Um, and if we weren't doing this as a scatter terrain concept, um, I don't know if I would have been able to do this because I don't think this would have stored very well. Um, of which case, that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, all this stuff has to be stored. Um, sometimes it has to be moved. And, you know, if you, you do this work, and I don't, I don't mind putting in the time or spending the work on it. Um, it is kind of disappointing when you pack it all up and then when you get to wherever you're going to go, it's, you know, just destroyed. Um, <laughs> which has happened um you know before uh but anyways uh we're onto the second tile here we're going to be making a uh kind of a mountainous staging area uh several uses with this um this piece is going to be pretty much stuck with this board uh it's not going to have so much uh use in other areas but that's okay too sometimes terrains like um, anyways, on with the video. Okay, so, um, yeah, what I wanted to do was I wanted to have a piece of foam, uh, some of these mountains that I've had laying around since the mid-2000s. Um, actually, I think a little earlier, to be honest. Um, and, you know, I wanted to put this, uh, you know, I got this bottom of the ash waste um tab unit um i didn't want the hab unit this was more of one of those just a just a place you you put stuff um so i you know i pulled out my carving stuff started carving um and just started working with the basic shape um these Ash waste hab modules are really nice pieces of terrain. Um, you know, I was, I was getting a little confused here, so I went and got another sprue, thinking maybe, hey, we can, you know, we'll just use half. Um, you know, just trying different stuff out here. Um, yeah, still wasn't very happy with it. And the biggest thing that I wasn't happy with was gluing this piece of plastic to that foam. Um, after what happened last video, uh, I've gotten very gun-shy um, about 
what I'm going to glue and how I'm going to glue. I obviously lost focus. I did it right on camera there. And I managed to decide to keep it and show all of you guys exactly what happens when you're not really paying attention to the five, five, six inches in front of your face. Um, <laughs> yeah, so still don't quite like the half. Um, but we came up with an idea here. We're just going to do a high-end notch. And look at that. Slides right in like a glove. Don't have to glue it. Pretty cool. Oh, so we're a little top-heavy now. But that's a different answer than having to glue that uh, poly... The, the, uh, the plastic into the, uh, into the foam board. That was a big issue. Um, so now trying to figure out oh we got some pipe yeah put some pipe underneath because i didn't want to use the hab thing underneath it i still would like to have room to get bolts to run underneath this so here's a little bit of a test see how far this goes and i have this new pipe here but i did a little bit of digging and i thought so i had a i had a pipe from a from a former thing um cut already to size um yeah, there it is. Uh, you know, and we 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 start going from here. We started getting very excited about all the things we were going to put on this. Um, this is just like a little staging area. You know, take the truck, dump it there. When the boats go underneath, throw the stuff on the boats, and you're ready to go. Um, out of here. Uh, this fit in so well. I was able to just basically just put sides on it. Um, this uh, little step ups. I am extremely pleased at how nice, fast, easy, and how good this looks. Um, even can put barricades on it, although we're going to do it in the form of crates. Um, so yeah, you can run up the stairs on either side, get to the other tiles via uh, without having to use a boat or a, a uh, walkway, which the walkways I already have, um, they're all made already. I'm not going to put it in the videos, but yeah. So here's the end results here so far. We have the uh, the Promethium pump station, and now we've got this little boat area here where we can, uh, you know, load up the boats. Uh, and make a fast getaway. Yeah, I know. They'll run into that pipe on the way through. But, you know, eh, Hive's a dangerous place. Um, thanks so much, you guys. Um, I had a lot of fun making all of this. This was a little bit more uh, thinking than normal. But uh, please like and subscribe and have a great night.